In today's video, I'm going to be going over the time conversion problem within HackerRank from HackerRank. And it's going to be a Java solution. And I'm going to first explain the problem a little bit, go into depth, try and help you understand it a little bit more. Let's dive straight into it. Today's problem looks at the 12 hour AP, sorry, AM, PM format clock and converting into the military time. So, as an example, 12.01.00 p.m. must return 12.01.00. 12.01.00 a.m. will return 00 because it's midnight. 01.00. So that's one thing to remember that 12 a.m. on a 12 hour clock is 00000, 000, 000, 000, 000 on a 24 hour clock. 12 p.m. is on a 12 hour clock is 12 and 12 40, 24 hour clock. Right, that's a lot of. 12s and zeros, I hope that makes sense. So let's have a look at the function description real quick. So you're taking a string of a 12 hour format and you return a string of a 24 hour format. So that's quite an easy concept to understand. But what does that mean in practice? Right, so let's go over that again. What does it mean to have an AM and a PM? So PM just means afternoon and AM just means morning. So if you think about what sort of times we have on the 24 hour clock for PM, it's usually the number in front of what the time actually is. So we say one, two, three, four, five, whatever number it is, whatever hour it is, we add 12 to receive the 24 hour clock time. So if it's one o'clock, we get 13 to represent one o'clock in the afternoon. So that's quite a simple notion. Uh, on AM, we just keep the hour the exact same because it's in the morning. It's not afternoon, it's not 24 hour clock, so it's the first few hours of the morning, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the AM just signifies that it's in the morning, and we keep the all of the numbers exactly the same for this output because uh, there's no change. So what do we need to do if we think about this pragmatically to pro actually program this to change this particular string that we have inputted to this particular output? What you're going to want to do is plus 12, add 12 onto the number that is the hour. Okay, so does that make sense? You add 12 to the number and you will be given this particular number. That makes sense because it's a 24 hour clock. And for this one, essentially you don't need to add anything to it. You can keep it as it is, that's fine. And you just have this. But then obviously we want to think about removing these parts of the string after we've worked out whether or not this string is PM or AM, we remove it afterwards, and then that leaves us with blank space here to have our 24 hour clock. So that makes sense. But now, if you're thinking, what happens if 12 comes up, 12 AM or 12 PM? Excuse the dodgy writing. Obviously, these have different outputs. So, these particular outliers, we know them to be 12 in the afternoon and 12 in the morning or 12 at night, midnight. So obviously when we think about midnight, we know it's 0, 0 AM, but obviously in the 24 hour clock, it's just 0, 0. And when we know 12 PM, we know that's still maintain its value of 12. So if we think about what we said earlier, where we want to, for PM, we add 12 to the hour. We can't do that for this particular variable, the variable being 12, this substring of the overall string, which we will convert into a variable, an integer in which we will add the 12 to. We can't add 12 because it will come up as 24 and we don't want 24, we want 12. So we have to have something within our system that catches out if it's 12 p.m. Similarly, we have to have something in our system that catches out if it's 12 a.m. because the 12 makes a difference. We need to convert the 12 into a 0, 0. Because if you remember rightly, I said with AM, depending on what number the first number is, you have to add nothing to it. It doesn't matter what the number is, you just have to add a 0 onto it. However, that's where, once again, the 12 is an outlier. So you want to catch the 12 and res return that as a 0, 0, dependent on if it's AM or PM. So those are the are two comparators, if you want to think about it that way. You want to first check if it's AM and PM, and first and then check whether it's 12 or not, because these are the most important things for changing elements of our program. Okay, so 
shall we see how that's represented in the code? So, the first thing I like to think about doing is separating our main string, our main input string, string dot, string s, into substrings of more important variables. So, I'm going to do it a little bit differently, and I'm going to do string start, with start being the first two elements of our string, string s, which is going to be what the our number is. So it's what the string starts with. So I do s dot equals s dot substring. That's how we get the substring. And we have a an beginning and end index. So we want to start from index 0 because obviously uh, in program we start from 0 rather than 1 to 2. So that, well, that will return us with what the hour of this particular um, string that we've got is. But then also I want to define the end of, this, of the statement. Therefore, I do the same concept. But instead of doing uh, encompassing the instead of encompassing the whole string, including the PM, I'm going to do from two till eight, which stops just before where it says PM or AM, because we, I don't need that in my in my string. And you might ask why? How would you work out if it's going to be PM or AM or not? Well, I'll go on to just discuss that. So as I mentioned earlier, we want to store start our starting hour as an integer because we're going to have to add 12 to it if it's containing pm. So that's something to think about. We want to store it as an integer. But obviously at the moment our substring is a string, so we're going to have to pass that uh, string start as an integer. And then we've got our, which stores our, whether or not it's a, a pm or an am, it will store our uh, initial hour. Now we're going to use if and else statements to work out what is in this particular string. Now I'm going to write an if statement to see what it, whether or not it's PM or AM, and also if the particular hour we've got is less than 12 or different to 12, and you'll see why. So if I'm going to do s dot contains, and I'm just going to put p. That should be like that. If s dot contains p and hour is smaller than 12. So if s dot contains p and hour is smaller than 12. So what does this mean? Well this is me working out whether or not my our string that we have is p m or am. All you need to do is check if it contains p. If it doesn't contain p then it has to be am because the constraints are that it's either going to be am or pm otherwise it'll be a a null and void piece of input. So we don't have to look out for a null and void piece of input because we trust that the site is going to give us a good piece of input. Right, so that's simple. And then we don't have to worry about searching for PM or AM within it, we just need to find if it has a P in it. So if it does have a P in it, we also need to take into consideration our value of 12 because if it is 12, if you remember earlier we said we don't want to be adding plus 12 to it because that will change our output to something we don't actually want. So we're only going to be looking for whether our input is smaller than 12, because this will be the ones that we do add 12 onto, if that makes sense. So 12, we add nothing onto. Anything less than a value of 12, we add another 12 onto it to receive our 24 hour time. That's what we do here. Anything less than 12, we plus equals 12 onto it. So it's if it was 0, 1, for example, now it will be uh, 13. But obviously, we have to update that within our string. We want start to now equal to start to be a string that is equal to the integer we have here. What we need to do is start equals string, because we need to convert back into a string with the value of, and our particular object in this case is going to be our. So now, our string from earlier on has been re-updated because it was turned into or stored as an integer and then now we want to store it back as a string so we can have this part of the substring combined with the end from earlier to give the overall value of our the overall output of our new string so that's that part done but we also want to do an else if we have another particular thing that occurs and that is s.contains so now we're looking for whether or not 
our string, our substring, or sorry, our home variable string contains a, a for am. I've explained that with the pm, so you should understand. And similarly, we're looking for now this time whether or not the hour is exactly the same as 12. Because if it is, that's what we need to change. So does that make sense again? We're looking for am, s dot contains a, and then we're also checking whether or not our hour, the value that we've got for our start of it, start of our at the hour, is going to be equal to 12. Because if it is 12 in this case, 12 am, we convert it into 0, 0. So it's the same concept. Hour equals 0, 0. So that's just updating what hour is. Because we know that it's going to be 0, 0, we can just immediately change start to the variable, to the value, sorry, of start equals 0, 0. So it's instantly exactly the variable that we want. Now, of course, what we have here is two different starts, depending on if it's AM or PM and whatever the value of the hour is. But we want to actually amalgamate the strings that we have, the substrings, start and end, or the new values of start with the original value of end to actually get our output. So all you have to do simply is have your original string S, where we're going to update it with a completely different set of substrings, hopefully. So we're going to add S equals start plus end. And that will add whatever our new value of the start is to our end that we saved earlier, we stored earlier, which is just the substring without, with the end of the string without PM or AM, because we don't need that anymore. And obviously, we're going to want to return our string, because this is a function that takes and returns a string. Return S, with our newly updated version of what S is. So, hopefully this makes sense. I'm going to run it, just to walk you through it one more time. So that's our code. Run. Yes, so sample test case. Passed, so what it takes in is 070545pm. It's first checked. Or was it's first stored 07 as our start, and it stored the rest of that string without the was it PM or AM? PM, the rest of the string without the PM in the end. Now it's converted the 07 into an integer and stored that as our. The first if statement checks whether or not it's a PM, and it is because it contains a P, so it doesn't even need to get to here. So then it also checks if the hour is less than 12. So hour in this case is 07, is that less than 12? Yes it is. So the hour needs to have 12 added to it and you also add an equals to updates the current value, uh, the variable hour. And obviously as it's an integer and we want it to be a string, we use string.value of to convert that back to a string and store it within start. So that's simply what our program does. And that's it done already because it goes straight to the end. Start, our new variable start, which is going to be what is 07 plus 12, it's going to be 19. 19 plus end, which is everything else. So it's this to here, everything else but the PM. So it adds that to the 19, and what do we get? 190545. It's exactly what we want. So let's submit code to show that it works for all of the test cases, and yeah, you can see it does. Yeah, so I hope that sums it up. If you have any questions, please pop them into the comments. Uh, I'm always happy to hear positive, negative, any advice you've got, or just open up a discussion, please give the like a video, I mean a video a like, uh, and yeah, um, thank you for listening, enjoy your day.